Hello and welcome to Linset, a channel meant for intelligent and curious people like you who are, who are interested in not only in uh, human sexuality, psychology regarding sexual activities or physical intimate activities, but also the sex robots and artificial intelligence and their relationships. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. Please subscribe and share with your friends if you're new because it means a lot to me. And if you are, if you have already subscribed, please keep supporting me. First of all, let me tell you one thing about our body heat. You know, during our physical intimacy, we humans have a built-in temperature regulation system uh, through sweating. Uh, it, it's, specially, uh, it's specially managed through sweating. But human and robots, face a unique challenge regarding uh, this uh, this moment, this special moment. Because managing heat generated by their complex mechanisms are a little bit complex, not like humans. This heat, primarily from the motors driving their movement, can lead to malfunctions and even danger and, uh, and even damages if not handled efficiently then what can be done regarding this because you know during the physical physically intimate uh, moments some kind of uh, built-in temperature uh, uh, regulation works okay so heat generates isn't it so during this heat generation one thing really uh, acts in a, uh, in, a, in a very important way which are called actuators. High degree or, and high torque electric motors or hydraulic actuators used for movement generate a significant heat through friction and electrical resistance. First of all, imagine the situation where something very intimate acts are being done. And in that case, some kind of friction is necessary and therefore electrical resistance is also uh, quite natural. And electronics part, that means the processors, sensors, and other electronic components also contribute to heat generation for human and robots, not for us, of course. Uh, because, you know, actuators, processors, sensors, these are integral, integrated parts or integral uh, components of human robots and heat management is specially uh, dealt with uh, two types of cooling one is passive cooling and other is active cooling let us talk about passive cooling first passive in passive cooling heat sinks how these metal fins attached to hot components absorb and dissipate heat through natural convection and fish chain materials that means which uh, absorb and release heat when uh, changing between solid and liquid states, providing temporary cooling. Next comes active cooling. Active cooling uh, is dealt with uh, fans. Forced air circulation helps transfer heat away from hot components. You know, we use also fans inside the computer CPU also for the same uh, reasons. Liquid cooling. Uh, like water or coolant circulate through the robot absorbing heat and carrying it to a radiator for dissipation finally sweating uh, robots don't sweat of course but researchers are exploring biometric solutions like microfluidic channels and porous skins which can allow robots to sweat of course not like us this sweating is a kind of difference different and out mm, sweat out the water for cooling actually they will sweat out water and we sweat out something else uh, there are differences there are a lot of challenges and innovations of course because the space is limited in energy efficiency is very important in this manner and the noise because fans and uh, fans and pumps can generate noise which uh, in effect uh, will uh, really uh, uh, make the physical intimate activities uh, clumsy and cumbersome so uh, we need to tackle that noise also 
scientists, uh, scientists and engineers work regarding this. Anyway, today, this much from me. In the next video, we'll come with a new topic. So please stay tuned and keep watching, keep supporting Wooden Sled. Stay safe and take care.